Antibiotics are given to almost all animals reared for food. But we will concentrate on poultry because a study by the Center for Science and Environment has revealed that chicken bred in India for meat contains five of the six most widely used antibiotics. Antibiotics through food is a major cause of antibiotic resistance. In other words, antibiotics are becoming ineffective. This is a major cause of concern. Antibiotics are given throughout the life cycle of the chicken. A day old chicken is administered antibiotics to prevent infections and at the same time promote growth. Low doses of antibiotics kill microbes in the intestine of the chicken and help the bird absorb nutrients better, resulting in weight gain. Ideally, antibiotics should be given only to sick birds, a practice followed in countries like Denmark. But poultry farmers in India use it to increase the weight of the bird in minimum time with minimum feed for maximum profits. Low doses of antibiotics do not kill all the bacteria present in the chicken. The ones that survive slowly mutate and become resistant to the antibiotic. Over time, these bacteria become completely immune to the antibiotics. These mutant bacteria are passed on to the humans through different pathways. Antibiotic resistance has become a medical crisis. 60,000 children in India die within the first four weeks because of two strains of antibiotic resistant bacteria. 25,000 people die in the US every year because antibiotics fail to cure infections. Doctors say that complicated surgeries and life-saving procedures have become meaningless if the antibiotics do not work. Even a minor bruise can become fatal. The Indian authorities are dragging their feet on curbing this antibiotic abuse. So far, the central government has issued only an advisory for veterinarians on judicious use of antibiotics with no plans on how to implement it. In contrast, developed countries like Sweden and Denmark have successfully curbed the use of antibiotics in animal husbandry through legislations. The European Union too has followed suit and does not allow the use of antibiotics as growth promoters since 2006. It is time that India gets its act right and brings in effective regulations to curb antibiotic use in animals. As the second most populous country and fast becoming the most populous one, we need to keep antibiotics effective. For the sake of private profits, we cannot put our public's health in jeopardy.